Hello everyone, this is Mockman, and today I am doing a comment suggested video. Now as you can see, this commenter suggested I try making Ruin Claw offhands because there are approximately 18k GP in the Grand Exchange. Now for the record, I don't want to mispronounce your name, so I'm not going to attempt it, so I do apologize for that. Now moving on to the actual video, you are going to see a lot of cuts and edits because for those of you who don't know I was doing the giveaway while I was recording this Ruin Claw video because if you notice in the other two anvils to my left you can actually see my two alt accounts smithing right now which is why there are so many cuts here and there fast edits and another thing the video is also sped up by I believe is five times or six times because I did record this over one hour so I didn't feel it was necessary to actually include the other two accounts because I already did that in the other update video. Now going back to the original topping on hand, Ruin Claw offhands, in my opinion the price is a lie because I have never actually believed the price on the Grand Exchange for any item unless it's like a really rare item simply because the market for any item is not like real life where it's dependent on supply and demand. It's usually dependent on how rare it is based on how many are in the system. For those of you who don't know, certain items are priced much higher than their normal value simply because nobody usually makes them or people are wanting to buy them but nobody's actually selling them. This is probably why those Ruin Claw offhands say that they're 18k each but in reality they're probably much lower. And near the end of the video you're gonna see what happened when I actually tried to sell these claws to the Grand Exchange. I only tried to sell one because I'm actually going to use these as the part of the giveaway so I can't sell all of them and this took me an hour to do so I'm definitely not going to sell them. Now during this hour I managed to smith 46 Ruin Claw offhands which kind of surprised me because when I divide it together it's pretty much 1 minute and 30 seconds per claw. Now I do have to admit that I could have made maybe one or two claws more had I done the timing properly because since I was switching between the other two characters I lost some timing and heat cap because I was pressing the other characters and then I would go back to my main and it would be either done or it would be below the 50% heat threshold which slows you down slightly but when you have something that takes more than a minute to make a few seconds starts to add up when this happens over five or ten of them and as you can figure out 15 seconds 30 seconds that's pretty much another one if I actually had the 30 seconds before I finished the recording. But let's get back to the main issue at hand which is the price of 18k per claw. So I've never actually seen anyone using Ruin Claws as a combat item even with the special ability usage because I've noticed people prefer maces, long swords, scimitars, like they prefer all the higher DPS weapons in my opinion because the claws while they are fast usually don't do the job and if you want slashing weapons swords are usually better in the long run than claws are but that still doesn't explain why the price is 18k and I was kind of baffled by it because why is the offhand 18k but the main hand is only like 9.3 so you would have to pay 27k for that but you can just make it yourself especially if you only need one set so here is my basic theory for why it's 18k. Since there are so few sellers and so few buyers, the sellers are putting the price higher than average and they're only selling maybe one or two every once in a while and they're putting it at 18k or at least close to that. And since there might be a couple sellers, they're actually upping the price little bit by little bit and forcing buyers to essentially pay for a higher price, which would mean that those players are actually artificially inflating the selling price and that's probably why the price is much higher than it really should be. Now before I move on to what happened at the Grand Exchange and the price checking and all that, I need to say something about the giveaway because it is no longer officially possible for me to complete this before Thanksgiving weekend is 
here because as you can see right now this is all i have completed right now i haven't even finished all of the one bar items i'm not even maybe 25 percent complete with the two bar items which is all the weapons or most of the weapons at least and i barely finished the ruin plate bodies and i've been working on the chain bodies but i only have like 200 before i started doing this ruin claw video so i do need to apologize for officially not completing my objective before i wanted to but hopefully Hopefully I should be done before Christmas, which is another month away. And if not, that's going to suck for me because I got to sell everything in my bank. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But if it does happen, then somebody or some few people are going to be very, very happy with that. Because if I'm not wrong with all of the items that I have, I probably have around, I'm going to say 500 mil plus probably because I have a lot of potions. I have a lot of other gear like members gear that I can sell that other stuff so if it does come down to that I will sell everything because I am a man of my word and if I am not then I will always go towards the secondary objective and that will be to sell everything to make up for it which is actually probably better because ruin bar items are not very expensive and my bank is probably worth a lot more than that. But then again, I haven't actually calculated it because there's just so many member items and I don't even know what the price of those things are. So we will see what happens around Christmas. But let's get back to the topic on hand. Now for the price check, Runeclaw offhand is worth about 18.6k each. And when you multiply all that out, it is just over 857,000 GP for the 46 that I made in this one hour. Now, if only those actually sold at that price, would I say this is a great item to do, but you will see why it is a very bad item to do, simply because nobody was buying this at all. Like, I tried to sell it for, like, less than 50% of what its original value was, and nobody bought. So, I would not recommend this item for anyone to make, because, like I said before, I don't see anyone really using claws as an item to train with, or PK with. Like I said, people use maces and longswords, or warhammers, but no one uses claws. So... Based on all the evidence that I have shown you in this video, do not make these because there is no one buying them and the GE price is basically lying to you. To be honest, if I didn't actually need these for the giveaway, I probably would have just alked them because I think the high alk price is like 3.6k each or something or maybe it's a little bit more but don't make these because the grand exchange price is deceptive it says it's 18 but it's definitely not because nobody is buying them for that price they're not even buying them for a little bit less than 9k so don't do it anyways guys this has been your fellow ruinscaper mohawk man have a nice day everyone be kind to one another be safe peace out everybody